she ain't got no money in the bank. What is going on guys, Jack here and I'm back with another video of potential transfers and confirmed transfers and we kick your things off with a one we've already seen before but now it is a confirmed transfer, it is Asmir Begovic, he has in fact completed his move to Chelsea from Stoke, the two teams did reach an agreement and he will be playing his next season at Stamford Bridge. The question is though, will he get much game time? I don't think so, Courtois has got that number one spot tied down to a T. But Asma Begovic is a quality backup goalkeeper. It's a really good sign for Chelsea. Next player we've got here is another one we've seen before. It is Kyle Jenkinson. He is on his way to West Ham. The loan deal has been well, been all but confirmed. He has signed also a new five-year deal with Arsenal, which has been reported for a 40 grand per week contract. So Kyle Jenkinson's completed his future to Arsenal, and he has one more season to play at West Ham United. Very good deal for both clubs. Next one we do have is Andrew Obono, confirmed transfer to West Ham United for around about eight figure sum, Jack Sullivan has said, the co-owner, son of West Ham. Um, a very good sign, shows great intent from the Hammers and I can't wait to see how he does next season. The centre-back just the centre back placements, the centre back competition is going to be so good at West Ham next season and they're going to be the team to watch out for hopefully. Next one we do have is Glenn Johnson, he has completed a free transfer to Stoke City from Liverpool. You know, it, it could be a good place for him to you know, resurrect his career, obviously he had a not the best of times at the end of his career at Liverpool, but, you know, he is a good player and hopefully we can see him get back to his best. Not too sure, though. Next one we do have is confirmed transfer is Morgan Schneidlin. He has been confirmed as a Manchester United player and is going on their USA tour. A very good player to have on your side. It was a standout player for Southampton for the last few years and... You know, you know, United have got a really good deal there. So I wish Morgan Schneider all the best, and hopefully he has a good season with United. Next one we do have is Valon Borami. He has joined Watford, um, I believe, from oh my God, Hamburg. I want to say maybe it's another team. I'm not too sure. Um, he wasn't Napoli, obviously, but he's a great all-round player, and Watford have got themselves a really good deal there. I can't wait to see how he does play. Um, obviously, a former West Ham boy too, so um, a good coup there from Watford, and they've got some really, really good players into their team. They, they really look like they mean business. Next one we do have is Angel Di Maria. Could be on his way to Paris Saint-Germain. I'm not too sure if this one will happen. You know, Manchester United are building their team up. You know, Dimitri didn't have the greatest of first seasons, but, you know, at least give him a second season. We're not too sure, though. If the right deal does come in, Manchester United might sell, but I hope I don't see him come out of the Premier League just yet. Next one we do have is confirmed transfer is Stefan El Shirore. He has joined AS Monaco from AC Milan, but AC Milan do have a buyback clause for the Italian. I wish him all the best at Monaco, and hopefully yeah, he's a great player to have, and hopefully he does kick on and show potential that he showed early on in his career. Next one we do have is Bastian Schweinsteiger. He has left FC Bayern to join Manchester United. Also, again, part of a triple coup for Manchester United. Obviously, getting Damian uh, Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin. Some great players in that team. And, you know, Schweinsteiger, we all know the quality he has in his locker. Hopefully, he brings experience and that touch of quality that Manchester United need in that midfield. They've got, they look like they're going to build an awesome team. And I can't wait to see how they perform next season. Next one we do have is a very weird one, but... Uh, one that shows that Tevez has gone back to his roots. Carlos Tevez has left Juve, obviously Champions League runners-up, to join Argentine side and obviously boyhood side Boca Juniors. An amazing transfer for them, and I wish Carlos all the best. You know, it's going to be a great, great experience for him to go back to his boyhood club. He was greeted by 50,000 home fans. Also, that's just that's unbelievable. Next one we do have is Robin van Persie, who's completed a five million pound deal away from Manchester United to join Fenerbahce. A very good deal for £5 million, pounds, and hopefully he shows the quality that we all know he's capable of. He will link up with teammate Dirk Cat, I do believe, unless he's been released. But that would be awesome to see, and hopefully he can kick on in the uh, the Super League. Next one we do have is Immobile. He has left Dortmund to join Sevilla, and obviously he had such a great season at Torino the season before. Didn't really get on that well at Dortmund, but hopefully he can kickstart his career in the, again another Champions League competition with Sevilla obviously the Europa League champions so it'll be interesting to see how he does and hopefully he, we see the quality we all know he's capable of next one I do have is Christian Benteke apparently Liverpool are interested in meeting the £32.5 million buyout clause for the Aston Villa man 
Again, he's been linked with so many clubs, uh, Christian Benteke. But I think Arsenal Villa are desperate to keep him. They show great intent. I can't see him going anywhere, really. But Liverpool, their team that like to splash the cash on some strikers. Um, obviously, they have a history of it. But we have to wait and see here. Will Christian Benteke be worth it? Not too sure. I agree with Liverpool fans being a little bit sceptical. Next one we do have is Yaya Sonogo on his way for a potential loan deal to Ajax. Not sure how much substance this one has, but again, a, a, a good deal for both parties. Next one we do have is a confirmed transfer. That is Zhao Pereira. He has left. Uh, he was at Valencia, then he was at Hanover, and now he has joined Sporting Lisbon in his native country of Portugal. Very good sign for them, and that is going to bring an end to this video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure to do smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more, then why not hit that subscribe button too, and comment in the comment section down below some transfers that you have heard, and maybe you want to come true. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.